Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Infinity Custom Works, and Gary Dean Detailing. We're going to work on this 22 foot Cobia today. Decent looking boat. I've already been in there and pulled the mats out and looked around. Um, the hull looks pretty good. Got some scratches, got a little bit of oxidation, got some scuffs and that kind of thing, but overall it looks pretty good. Gonna get up in there and get it all polished up, cleaned up and polished up. Definitely not a bad looking boat. Um, gotta get all this haze off there. Just a layer of gunk. Engine looks like it's in great shape. Gonna go ahead and hop up in this bad boy. Just got general dirt and grime. Good scrub down. This vinyl cleaned up real nice. Got a little bit of mildew here and there. Live well is pretty clean. Got a little bit of rust on the floor. I'm gonna get out, get all this crap out of here. Get some of that mildew off the captain's chair. That nasty rust out of there. Helm looks nice. I started pulling stuff out of the uh, the head there. Got some mildew. Overall, not horrible. Definitely needs a good scrub down and a polish, but that's it. Compartments are kind of dirty. Jams are kind of dirty. I see this family on Facebook a lot, and they use this boat a lot and really enjoy it. I love the layout. It's really nice. So, going to get all this oxidation straightened out. Get her purdied up. So that's what she looks like before we get her done. Gonna get all that. I'm gonna take all these toys and everything out of these cubbies and out of uh, the head and everything and then get everything cleaned and put it all back. That's the plan, so. All right, well you've seen it before. Now it's time for some action. All right, I got my trusty DeWalt. 15 millimeter dual action polisher out with my five and a half inch buff and shine flat euro pad and i am using wherever it went adapt smart polish it's working out great as you can see there's the tape line the boat's got a little bit of oxidation on it you can see the clarity here is intense and then it not so much here it's not bad it just definitely has that layer of oxidation on it but you can see where I stopped over there and where my tape line was here pretty dramatic so you'll also notice that this doesn't have any gloss but as soon as I polish it it will but anyway I just wanted to show you where we're at right now and while I'm talking about it that's the uh, pre-production label for the adapt smart polish this is the official label so when you order this this polish from detailjuice.com this is how it will come not in that other bottle so basically this not this bottle that is just a pre-production bottle that i have been using since we started uh developing the product so this is the official packaging so I'm gonna get back to work continue to use that because it's awesome it cuts really great but it finishes even better um, and it's good for auto boat RV motorcycle it doesn't matter any anything that's got gel coat or any kind of paint you can use that uh, it also works crazy good on bare metal so back to work all right got some work done on this side so I've basically done from the bow all the way to about right there where you can see the tape line. So it's pretty oxidized, pretty hazy. You can see here where it's been polished already. Looks great. But as you come close to that line, which is right here, you 
can really see the difference in what's been polished and what hasn't. If you just look at that wheel right there, we're about halfway to the wheel, all the clarity here and then the haziness over there. So, the other thing is it had a ton of transfer right here and there's the rest of it right here, but I got all of this off. So it was a ton of it right there, gone. All right, back to work. All right, friends. So I just finished this Cobia. It turned out really nice. Seats look so much better. It's a captain seat, so much better. Got the rust off of it, got the mold. Thank you. All right, boys and girls, that's all she wrote on this beautiful beast. You can see how glossy and beautiful it is now. Got that cowl and the uh, body of the motor all polished up and I used my EMC, so Elite Master Coat Boost, which is my spray coating. That would be my basic protection. And uh, it's actually really good. But you can see all that gloss now that we didn't have before. Right up and down the uh, top deck. Looks awesome. I polished all of this. Super glossy. Polished all in there. Looks great transom was all polished cleaned up the uh, power pole there we bleached those plastic things for the uh, fishing rods or we used the uh, we used the uh, marine series vinyl mold and mildew cleaner on those fishing rod holders but it just wouldn't come off. The mold is just crazy. We, we actually applied that four times, so. All right, here you go. There's the money shot right there. Super glossy. Look at that gloss all up and down that top deck. Shoot, looking good. Interior's good. Tony walked you around that. Transom's good. Both sides are good. All right, guys, check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation for, well, if you want to learn things that are about what I'm doing, that's the group that you'll be in. Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, detailjuice.com, infinitycustomworks.com is currently being built. Should be up soon. If you have questions for me, my phone number is 813-846-4406 and you can check me out on Instagram, it's gary.dean.35 right there. And if you're on Facebook, like I mentioned already, check out my group, Gary Dean Detail, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. Um, send me a friend request um, or send me a message. Let's talk about your project. So thank you guys so much for listening to me babble and watching this video for this v detail of this 22 foot Cobia. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.